Yeah, just about a foot should do. Yeah. Yep, and rotate it so we have more of the room, less of the window. Yes. What's up, everybody? And we are back. Today, I have something really interesting. If you guys saw my last video, it was this whole thing on what to do if you're being quarantined and whatnot, and you're just bored. Well, I also mentioned in that video that I'm doing, for the first time, remote shooting. That's today. I am so excited. Sam is here with me. Say hi, Sam. And she put together this whole thing, it's being published and all types of stuff. And she basically figured out a way for creatives like us to continue doing photo shoots with models, or if you're a model, how to, you know, still do photo shoots with other photographers if you have your own camera and lighting. And just to, just to kind of bridge that gap, just to kind of make it easier for everybody who is trying to maintain social distancing and still, not lose their minds because they're not being creative. So without further ado, let's get into this. I'm gonna be back and forth from here, not only sharing my screen, but also talking to you guys. As you know, I do have Sam on the phone, so it's gonna be a little difficult. Um, Zoom's audio is not that great, but we'll try to make it work. So let's go. Okay, what was the shutter button? The capture? Oh, that's what, oh, it's right up here, got it. Absolutely, let's do it. Okay. Great. Let's wait for it to bring count. There we go. Focusing on your hair. Oh yeah, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. I definitely wanna get some shots with the camera more along the line of the window so we can get more, more of like, um, yeah, there we go. I can also do a portrait too if you wanna switch your horizontal a little bit. We, we, we're definitely gonna do some portrait. Perfect. Bring the chin up for me a little bit. Focus. Actually, I want to focus. Wrong part. There we go. Good. Let's get some stuff sitting on the windowsill. Yep. All right. Well, as we're trying to get everything back up and running, don't be deterred by the quality of how it looks on the screen. It's literally just from so many, so many steps before it gets to me. The footage isn't that great, but I guarantee you guys that once the pictures do come to me, they are amazing. So just keep that in mind when you guys are doing this in the future that you kind of have to have a little imagination to see how it's gonna look. You're really doing it over internet and obviously if you have a bad connection, that's gonna be a major contributor to how the, um, image is going to look live. Okay. Double check your, uh, your settings real quick to make sure. All right, I'm in. Yep, everything is still good. Okay, awesome. Come a little closer to the camera for me. Perfect. Y'all gonna say look out the window? Great. Perfect. All right. Focus on face. All right, good. Let's get some portrait styles. So I definitely want to get something with you kind of sitting on the windowsill. But I definitely want it to be almost like a full length shot, you know? Perfect. I would say bring, yes. See, this is why I love working with professionals. <laughs> All right, 
now that we have more of her face in shadow, I'm going to bring my ISO up just oh, to 800. There we go. Beautiful, can you turn your torso more towards me? Good. More chest more towards me, please. There we go, yes. Uh, it's focusing. Can you focus? Now keep in mind guys, this is our first time actually ever working together. We literally just spoke for the first time like a couple days ago. So this is a purely unique experience. Now I will say this is a very fun experience. Oh yeah. And the fact that you can see yourself really helps out a lot too. I would say bring that, bring that foot all the way up on the seal for me. There we go. Yes, it is. Come, come up with both on your toes. There you go. Give me, give me a little bit more leg cross. Cross your legs a little bit more for me. Like tighter. There you go. Yeah. So I want to be able to see the muscle in your, uh, your lower butt. Okay. All right. Good. Turn your head a little bit more towards me, so I can see more of your face. Good. Perfect. Relax your shoulder a little bit. There we go. Bring that chin up a little. Perfect. Oh, that is great. I think you're really gonna love that shot. All right, we'll focus on the face. Very good. Yeah, let's bring the chin up for me a little bit. Good. I like what you did with your hair. Good call. A few moments later. I love that. It's giving me straight, it is giving me straight lounge vibes. Oh yeah. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay. My ISO at 800. I'm definitely going to have to drop my shutter speed on this one. Okay. Several bad puns later. Yeah, and then kind of just sit in the corner. So bring up that shutter speed, drop down the shutter speed, I mean. All right, I'm dropping the shutter speed down to like 1 30th of a second. Actually, I'm gonna do it down to one, one yeah, 1 15. So you're going to be extremely still. All right. Good. Exactly, he could be helping right now. Okay. He's the oil blower right now. <laughs> Alright, focusing. There we go. Look directly at the camera for me. Great. See what she got. <laughs> I was wondering why you put him on the stool. Right? <laughs> it's 
good to have people like you on set. I can definitely help you out with that. I need to build up support. It's basically just be me coming on the set. This is my spending my time without pay just to kind of get used to everything. So I have an idea to do like something like this. We could do like a really above shot looking down. Um, let me go get that cord out of the corner right here. Yes. Magnifique. Oh, that is fire. Yay. Oh, that shot is going to be the biz. Yay. Now, what were you doing a little bit earlier? Oh, so. That's all you were trying to, you're trying to get something. Absolutely amazing. Cute. Yes, this is going to be awesome. All right, I like this. I'm going to take this one. I want you to drop that left hand a little bit. Well, as you can see, it's, it's, a, it's a different concept, but let's be honest. Right now, what what, what is, what's normal? It's a very good solution for a common problem that a lot of us are having. But with this, with the Digicam, with the whole setup, I can control her shutter speed, her aperture, the ISO, the exposure comp, the focus, everything I pretty much need to take the image without the actual being able to control the lens itself. Personally, I prefer to, you know, you know what I'm saying? I prefer to be able to have my manual tactile control so this is a little different for me, but it works. And I mean, just take a look at these images. They're amazing. We managed to get some amazing, amazing images out of this. It's not often I shoot boudoir. I mainly shoot fashion and streetwear and glamor. But so you can imagine for me, this is a brand new experience. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. Um, I must say this shoot was pretty good, but where it was, I wanna say pretty good. This shoot was amazing. What am I talking about? but we are out of time unfortunately we had a very small time block but we will be doing this again and i definitely want to record again to keep showing you guys how we're putting this together i gotta thank sam for inviting me over to this platform and showing me how to do this this is a very useful tool especially if you cannot reach your model and or your client or whoever and they actually have can a camera and lights this is a very good way to do that um, so I will see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell icon. So, uh, you don't miss, you don't miss the next video. Um, is there anything you want to say, Sam? Um, uh, stay tuned for some awesome pictures. Yes. Cause these pictures are going to be bomb. So until the next one, peace. Hi guys, this is Samantha. You can follow me at Miss underscore Samantha underscore Matthias. All right, fantastic. That was great.